What I'm about to share with you is going to blow your mind and may even save your life. That is, if you are one of the unfortunate one out of every three that will eventually get heart disease. Did you know that heart disease is currently the industrialized world's number one way to die? Nearly 50% of people who die of a heart attack or stroke never even knew they had a problem. Let's put this in perspective. In the United States alone, there is roughly 320 million people. Of the approximate 100 million who will die of heart disease, upwards of 50 million will die of the disease without even knowing they had it. That's right, their fatal heart attack was their first sign of the disease. But there is good news. You don't have to be one of these statistics. But first, let me take just a short moment to share with you my own battle with heart disease, which began in my 30s, so you can learn from my mistakes. For nearly a decade before I had clogged arteries, I worked as a patrol deputy. You know, the lifestyle, staying up all night, working 13-hour shifts, using energy drinks or coffee to get by, late-night meals at the Greasy Spoon, where the only green thing that was served was the leaf of lettuce they used to garnish the plate, not to mention chronic stress from dealing with toxic people. Look, we all have stressors. Maybe I've just described your life. Well, here's my point. Maybe all your quote unquote basic risk factors for heart disease are normal just like mine were. Literally, year after year, I was patted on the back by medical professionals for healthy body weight, not smoking, normal blood pressure, and outstanding cholesterol numbers. Meanwhile, I had a 100% blockage already in one of my main coronary arteries and things were progressively getting worse. It wasn't until after they told me that I had advanced heart disease that a family nurse friend suggested that I educate myself about heart disease and its real causes. Here's what you need to know. There's actually two types of cholesterol and even more subcategories. HDL is the so-called good cholesterol and LDL is the so-called bad cholesterol. Now think of HDL as garbage trucks and your blood vessels are major roadways. HDL transports cholesterol back to your liver in a process called reverse cholesterol transport. And there's more to it though. LDL cholesterol can be either large and buoyant or small and dense. Small and dense particles called VLDL cholesterol can penetrate artery walls and fuel the inflammatory process. There's also another bad actor called lipoprotein A. LPA inflames and makes blood stickier and prone to clotting. You'll also want your homocysteine and C-reactive protein, CRP, checked. Having too much of these guys are also indicators of inflammation. The operative word in all this is inflammation. Just as it took decades and tens of thousands of medical studies to finally prove that cigarettes cause cancer, so it is with the real causes of heart disease. You might be asking yourself, if this is such a big deal, why haven't I heard of it? Well, it's simple because big pharmaceutical companies haven't found a way to create a drug to deal with it, yet. As we speak, pharmaceutical companies are scrambling to come up with another pill to patent to treat arterial inflammation, now thought of as the real cause of heart disease. But I couldn't wait, and now you don't have to. As they say, necessity is the mother of invention. Now, for the past four years, I've invested and tested different products, formulas, and combinations, and finally found something that works for me, and I want to share it with you. I call it Nylixer. 